just in a few weeks. We don't have the math figured out yet. There is no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the earth either, sir. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. I need to be in that room hearing what you hear. Within these walls, who makes the rules? You, sir, you are the boss. You just have to act like one, sir. You know, because I'm a champion for the underdog, always have been, always will be, these women were underdogs. Um, and I felt like we've, my positioning in life as a black woman, uh, we have rights now, I felt like it was my duty to tell this story um, because of my beliefs. Just made total sense for a person like me, for the things that I believe in. Um, it just made sense for mm. me to do this film. Thomas. 544 miles per hour of 46.56 degrees, 2,990 miles. I'm, I was told as a little girl that math and science was for boys, so I never developed a passion for it. I, I thought I, it wasn't for me. I sat in the back of those classes and I didn't try because it wasn't for me. And then I get this script, someone lied to me. Was it hard to memorize? It was very hard to memorize. I mean, these are words that I've never said in my life. <laughs> and so when you try to memorize, you have to actually understand what the word yes. is. So I had to look up a lot of words and get a visual in my head so that it could stick. Because just learning the lines means nothing if it doesn't mm -hmm. mean anything to you. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of research. They'll call it a mystery, but we're going to call it victory. We'll be right in history. It's going to be. I'm definitely a loyal friend and a nurturer to my <laughs> friends, um, but the mechanical, <laughs> you don't want me coming over fixing no, anything. No. Um, I, can, I can compute, you know, I can compute. No, I, I mean, yes, um, but I'm not, I, you, listen, these women were rocket scientists yes, yeah. um, and their intellect is unparalleled. There are very few people who will understand that math. Um, and I'm so glad that I'm not one of them because, you know, when you, you, you rely on the, um, others, I'm a, I'm a good delegator. So. Yeah. She bosses us around all the time. But she was the boss of the movie, right? Yeah. yeah. They picked the right actress. <laughs> Don't you know that we're able and that alone makes us major? We can all sit at the table. Uh, what do hello, uh, Korea? <laughs> Shouldn't you tell her that? <laughs> What's interesting about Hidden Figures is uh, it's true. These women uh, contributed something really amazing to help get um, our first astronauts, um, Alan Shepard and uh, Gus Grissom and John Glenn, into space. They should be celebrated. Extremely exciting. I love vintage uh, clothing and uh, it was great working with Renee and I was so honored to play Miss Mary Jackson, the first African-American female engineer. Um, as a, a, a woman who has tried to, uh, on the music side of things and just in my personal life, uh, be a champion for uh, the other, you know, the person who's oftentimes uncelebrated uh, for race, gender, um, sexual orientation, whatever that may be. Um, um, that that does not allow human beings to see them as the the, the special individuals that they are. Uh, I've tried to support that, and these women were genius, like and they the transcended all that. Engineer. It was so important for me. It um, became a personal responsibility to make sure that they were honored. Well, lastly, what type of message do you want to send out through Hidden Figures to your audience? Girls, you are just as intelligent as the next yes. human being. Your brain is massive. And, and collecting information, and you are, you are allowed to dream to be a rocket scientist. Yes. Your dreams valid. are valid. Yes. Your dreams are valid. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh my.